take a look at this problem. We got uh, sine alpha is equal to 24 over 25 uh, from pi over 2 to pi. Now I'm just going to write down the quadrant here. Pi over 2 to pi is our second quadrant. And then cosine beta is equal to 8 over 17. And this is in the first quadrant from 0 to pi over 2. And we want to find sine of alpha minus beta. Well, if we go back to our formula, sine of alpha minus beta, that's a difference identity down here, the sine. So I can rewrite it this way. And I'll go ahead and just put my alpha and beta in there. So this is equal to sine alpha cosine beta minus cosine alpha sine beta. Well, in order to uh, find this value then, you need uh, these four items. We got two of them. So let's take a look at the alphas first. Okay, so sine alpha is equal to 24 over 25. Now sine is equal to your y over your r. So let's use a Pythagorean identity. So we got x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. Um, we're trying to find x. So I got x squared plus y, which is 24 squared, is equal to r squared, which is 25 squared. Um, 24 squared. So 24 squared is 576. And 25 squared is 625. Take the um, 576 over. And that gives us um, 49. Double check that. Yeah, 49. Now, square root property. We drop our squared. We put a plus or minus square root around the other side. Which gives us x is equal to plus or minus 7. But in quadrant 2, x is negative. So we're going to have x is equal to negative 7. Now we need cosine alpha. And cosine is equal to x over r. Which is going to equal to negative 7 over r, which was 25. Now let's look at the betas. They tell us that cosine beta is equal to 8 over 17. And cosine is equal to x over r. So that's x and this is r. So again, we're going to plug it into x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. So we got 8 squared plus y squared is equal to 17 squared. <coughs> Excuse me. So we got 64 plus y squared is equal to 289. Want to get y by itself, so I take 64 over, so I got 289 minus 64. Um, 225? Yeah, 225. Drop the squared, put a plus or minus square root on the other side. I think that's 15, but let me see. 15 squared, yeah, it does give us 225, so we got y is equal plus or minus 15, and beta is in quadrant 1, which means everything's positive, so we got y is equal to positive 15. Well, we need sine beta for our formula, and sine beta is equal to y over r, so we'll have 15 over r, which was 17. Okay, now we're ready to plug everything into our formula. Sine alpha, we said was 24 over 25. Cosine beta was 8 over 17. Minus cosine alpha, which was negative 7 
over 25, and sine beta, which is 15 over 17. Um, 192, 25 times 17, 425, and minus, my, or negative negative becomes a positive. 7 times 15 is 105 over 425. Let me check that. 7 times 15. Then add those. Let's see, 7, 9, two, okay, 297. So that gives us our answer 297 over 425.